our Lakota people relied on Mother Earth to provide everything for Earth. The values we see in keeping her as healthy as possible is one big thing that drives us some of the ways we incorporate it with the seven W's of the Lakota humility and, and how we do with the wisdom is how we try to manage our ground to try to make sure that it's the healthiest we can for future generations. I want my daughters, I want my grandchildren to be able to utilize the ground and be healthy for them for years and years to come. What we mean by showing that we can change is there's always better ways to manage your ground. And if you just change your paradigm to see that, it can be so much better for you. Years ago, before I started this, I was still conventional ranching, calving in, in late March, uh, early April, going through some tough times and my kids seen it. And you know, I went through a bout of depression and I didn't know it. But my kids got to the point where they, they told me they didn't want to ranch. They didn't want to be part of this. They, they didn't want to be getting up every day stressed. And, and they told me that they did not want to do this. So that was one driving factor to help me. There's got to be a better way. There's better ways to do this that are less stressful on your family that will make your kids want to be part of this. started ranching 2008 did conventional ranching until i got tired of taking the losses in 2016 went to ranching for profit alan savory and south dakota grasslands coalition all within a year and started my regenerative practices in 2017 and just in four short years seen amazing progress I've done some cross fencing with NRCS and then within that I've also done some rotational grazing in, in smaller paddocks and what I've noticed is more plant species coming back that I've, I kind of always wanted back, uh, big blue stem, you know other things that prove that my pastures are healthy and in the last couple of years I've seen a lot more of that. I've seen bare ground go to covered ground in a short amount of time with rest and I'm only four years into the regenerative and going full into it. He had a plan and he wanted a little help so come to NRCS for a little of assistance and we ended up uh, you know writing the contract for through Equip and you know selecting some of the practices that he wanted to do and getting some of his water development started and some cross fencing and planted some trees and did some fabricated windbreaks and other projects that he needed to get done and help improve. So he has farmstead protection, and <laughs> livestock protection, and livestock water, and he wanted to do a little rotating with his cattle. And, you know, it takes the producer to do them. We're just here for help and assistance, and we try and help anybody that walks through the door. And he was one that came through and we were able to help, so. I learn a lot from my failures and I failed a lot through this. Through this regenerative ag, it's, it's a learning process. There's no cookie cutter with it. You might think certain grazing practices work here. Well, they might not work here, but this other grazing practice works better here for the environment, for the terrain, for other reasons, so. When I go for a walk now, I try to look for some of the species that tell me that my pastures are healthy. I've always wanted big blue stem back because I know that's a trademark of good pastures. I started seeing that back in my pastures. Just walking today, Dave from NRCS showed us Sidoats grama, just different species of needle grasses that show you that you, know, you got a lot of good diversity and show you that your pastures are healthy. Just being part of the South Dakota Grasslands Coalition and them telling me the species that are good indicators of, of your pastures rebounding and also the ones that are telling you that it, it's not doing so good. So you got to look for both of them. You got to look for the ones that are telling you, you might be hitting this area a little too hard. You know, now we drive out there and we look in areas where we used to see bare ground, there's there's grass coming in. So it's, it's helped the soil health in his pastures quite a bit by him implementing his management practices. The way I handle my 
cattle and the way I look at the land and the things I do for it, it brings me joy now. It's fun. My girls actually want to do this with me.